What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. In the last episode, we talked to a girl that was labeled Death? Question mark. But even though she specifically said she wasn't Death at some point, and she was the Queen of Maggots, and now we blew up this candle, and we got a weird picture of a guy committing suicide saying, um, "I'm sorry, Alice." So I guess now we're gonna go outside. Can we do anything with this now? A lonely seashore. Interesting how you can look at this. I have anything in this house, we can look at that. And also, look at the deer antlers here. Hmm, that symbolizes the deer we already saw that was dead. There seems to be a lot of deer in this game. Can we leave? Okay, there we go. And we're what back out here now. How did I get back here? Oh, interesting. Now it's gonna be this way. Oh, does not look like I go back this way. So that's where we saw the deer all cut up and everything. Now its head is up there. So it looks like she was the one who did that. Look closer. Can we do anything else? Is there going to be something different here? Is there going to be some? No. I get the feeling there's going to be something. Looks like I'm just sleeping. Let's leave. Wait, can we go back in here? I was going to say, maybe we could use a crowbar to, like, pry up the... Um... Uh, the deer antlers or the painting or something. Uh, as useful as these things can be, there's nothing I can do with the crowbar here. Okay, I'm just- you never know, you can get creative sometimes. Alright, let's keep going. See what we can find. This is the car. See, I wonder if I'll be able to use a crowbar like anywhere, or if it's just in a spot where an up arrow appears. I don't really know how the puzzles in this game are gonna be working. I'm looking out for things. Seems to be nothing so far. These weird tangly plants right here seem to be popping up all over the place. And I'm shrouded in treery. That's like, it's like bushery, but trees instead. Treery. <laughs> okay. What is going to be this way? Hmm. I'm sure I'm gonna find the first parasite relatively soon. And I don't know, I feel like I'm starting to regret- Ah, this is where the crowbar comes in use. I'm starting to regret not using the crowbar- Or not, um, like, agreeing with the Queen of Maggots. Like, just saying, yes, I'll go. Because, I don't know, what if these guys are really bad? Um, let's, uh, let's not actually, let's do this and use it. Oh god, it looks good. Wait, I was gonna say, is this where the guy died? But I don't think it is. Um, what? I didn't read all that. It's, uh, emergency power. It's dark inside. All this blood around this hole. Was someone hurt here? Probably. Oh god, this is a bad idea. Why? Hello? Touch. <laughs> this is a bad idea! Yep. Yep. Holy crap! What do I do? Oh my god! What? Holy crap! That was really stupid of me! What's happening now? What the hell's going on? I should have not have done- I should have used the crowbar! I should have definitely used the crowbar! I died, didn't I? That was really stupid of me, and I completely- Of course! Well, I, I wasn't worried about because I have the gift of immortality! This is weird! I'm scared! Can somebody hold me! Really, get and I was shot. Apparently, okay. So what now? This sounds like something slushly sloshly. Is it make it's eating my body? I'm so dumb. Why would I do that? We're all great. Do I have to start over? Don't tell me it has to be from the last time I saved because I haven't saved yet. What is this now? The cat lady. 
That was really stupid. I regret all the things. I couldn't back out once I put Reach inside, though. When it showed the switch, I was like, okay, maybe it'd be a great idea to back out of this now. And then I couldn't. I just did it. <sighs> I feel stupid. Okay, yes, it's reloading, so... Where's it putting... Chapter 2. Interesting. Second first breath. C yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. I thought I said thanks There's for nothing. a certain raw beauty to it that, that modern nice painting in the painters background? often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. Maybe no, this is before she took all those pills? It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Oh, of is course. she in the hospital? And go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay? She, you did she survive the sleeping how pills? It works. I've read in your file you uh, used to be a nurse. Yes, I, I completely know well regret sticking my hand in that thing. You want I didn't... to check if I'm nuts? <sighs> well. I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. So many regrets. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. All that paperwork. These forms won't fill themselves. Okay, enough also, wallowing Susan, you have in the past. To worry about. We've done all we this could try to do. This is formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. I'm just bolts Fine. instead. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Mm. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? Uh oh. Yep. Am I looking down upon myself? Is this my memory? She's awake, Doctor. Oh. Oh. And not only their uniforms. Are it's those called good to scrubs. See you awake at last? I don't know. I, I know that's what the TV show is You're called. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Hello, Andrew. Could you confirm your name for me, please? <laughs> um, Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. How does he know I'm not married? What if it's me? She's calling me Ms. Ashworth. And there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs, and they're fine too. After 30 you're a very sleeping lucky pills? Lady, Susan. What if that's you true? might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Oh, Please, my crow. Don't try to speak. My what did you say? Oh my god. I haven't said anything. Don't my worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Oh my your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. What? I'm not doing anything, though. Is the game broken Would you again? Like me to get you some water? I thought that was me drink. looking down at myself again. In the, girl, the other girl standing talking right now. Crap, now what was I going to say? <sighs> I always get interrupted and then it ruins my thought train. I wonder what have happened. Like, if, do we know this is real life? What if I'm actually this is still a part of the dream? We don't know, like whether or not to trust if I'm actually alive still or not. That's the thing. I'm sorry, Susan. Dad, did but. I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. Okay. My name is Liz, by the way. Hi. Hello, Liz. Lizzie McGuire. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, Whoa, I hate this place. That sass. 
Tell you what, Susan. Ow. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. Yeah, I was wondering you, what would actually happen if you took done, that. And her walking in, seeing what she saw. Who walked in on me? <gasps> one in a million. My landlord, I'm not maybe. Making any sense again? Am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day mm. I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. I wonder who walked in on me. Ah, is it the Queen of Maggots? Is she also my landlord in the real world, quote world. unquote? What would actually happen if it took 32 sleeping pills though? Like, I think. with that. And that I hope. I think I've heard you can actually die from sleeping things. pills. Got to go, but I'll see you later. I think. I don't know you much take about it. Sweetheart, yeah? But, I don't know. I think I've heard before that you can't die from sleeping pills, so it makes sense that she is alive. But I would imagine it would probably do a number on, especially your liver, right? Hmm. Can I do anything now? Hello? I don't. I'm scared to move. Well, okay. Well, if we weren't dreaming, we're definitely dreaming now. It's the beam to heaven. We oh, I'm okay. I'm suffering and burning to death. Oh, <gasps> when we saw myself at the in the hospital, or not dream. the hospital, in the ambulance. I wonder if this is hmm. No, it's a dream like any other. Yeah, a really bad one. No, it's a dream like no. any other. Just a dream like any other. Oh, it was a bad dream. Maybe I should have said the other one. Who cares? I need Doubt it matters. You see. So you tossing and turning as I came in here. You looked like you were Who having a horrible nightmare. Who even knows what's a dream anymore? I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or sometimes yeah. I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall, if you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Kind of. Never. It's a never ending hole. What was your name again? It's Liz. What happened what to me? I know her name. What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I. I took some pills. Then the and Queen I of Maggots. fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room. And then we saw a guy kill himself. Me slowly. And we saw I myself on a so cross, calm. and in a tree, and then, and then an ambulance. All of a sudden, I woke up in a field. Oh. Let's tell her. All of a sudden, oh, I was no. on the field of barley. It was great at first. Maybe she'll think I'm crazy. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. There was this tunnel, but there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. Yeah. Then I saw then my I own body. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. I didn't even, yeah, like I said, I didn't even notice a burning deer. car at first. I heard something behind the trees, but I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there. I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil. I'm not sure. I don't know. She seemed like she the devil to me, to be honest. She said they call her the queen of maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance. And so, here I am. I wonder if I would have died on the machine Weird anyways. Dream, eh? Maybe it was Probably would have. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. It was only just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, Please, I'm actually really curious. Okay, I guess that. Found you. I told you that before. What? Who yeah. found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't I don't for have her, a daughter. She would be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? Do I actually have a daughter? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma. Well, that's apparently. not creepy at all. So she lied. It oh, I wonder how long I've been in a coma. You owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Mm. Sorry. 
I wonder if it was the Queen of Magus that saved me. How long have I been here? That was actually. How long have I, been I actually here? did I just ask that, so. Hospital at seven in the evening. Okay, so. Not a very long. In the ambulance. They had to resuscitate hmm. you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. Interesting. So the I guess I haven't been very long here. Where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. Oh, I, I call it didn't need Dime all that ward info. All the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. Makes Rather sense. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Hmm, when, when will they, they let me go home? Go home? Probably not, not for sure. a very long time. Probably not today. Maybe oh, tomorrow. That's surprising. I'd imagine people on suicide watch they would Look, keep for quite a while, would they not? That, Especially like people who live person. alone. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Doctor X. Well, that's he's not creepy. Of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he—he's really good at getting into your head. Oh, you that's the guy saying? we were talking to earlier. He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Okay, uh, tell me more. Did you see this daughter of mine? Tell me something more, boys. Did okay, you I, see I really this want to know more about this. Daughter of mine. No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried yeah. I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um... Burgling! Saving your life? Stole my... cheese... Do I really something. have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or yeah, I she doubt was a burglar. It. <gasps> what?! From me. How does this game read my mind as so? That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Um, I don't Maybe. know. Do I? Hmm, tell me more about this Dr. X. Tell me more about this Dr. X. I guess that's the guy, yeah, that's the guy we was talking Zelma, to. But everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. Xavier's such a I smarty pants really name. Like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. See, Liz does look a lot like me. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Wow. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they're wearing a skirt. One oh, girl then. I knew. Linda. I heard they had an affair. Linda! Stupid girl. I wonder if he's uh, the first parasite then. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? You know, when the chapters flip forward, they covered it up and there's seven chapters. The first chapter the being thing. the intro. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been Then the five. Parasites, now. and then the last, and then but the and then the outro. So that adds up to thing. seven. Personally, well, one thing, maybe. It's probably one chapter per Don't parasite, laugh, okay? then, right? Okay. He's well, got I'm weird pretty. Smell. He's what a parasite. Do you mean? He smells he like smells maggots. Funny. I don't know. Maybe like maggots. Huh? Or maybe it's something. Or parasites. Else. Oh, thanks for the warning. <gasps> I'll try not to get too close to him. Would you, would you call Megan yeah, a parasite? It, there's something else. It feeds too. off of other animals. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you Maybe just the Queen of Megan is, is a parasite. Tell him everything. One of the five. It's very odd. I don't exactly. Or maybe she's the sixth parasite. People, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really. Yeah, private. they're pretty good you know at that, I mean? psychiatrist. Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. 
I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Yeah. Uh, about Tell yourself. me something more about yourself. I'm a vagina face. I'm a oh, sorry. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The What's other an auxiliary one is a nurse. At least I think so. She's never home at night. <laughs> yeah, a stripper. Maybe she works mm -hmm. at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red <clears throat> stockings and heels, do I? Yeah, no, you're right. That's you're probably a just Not the prostitute. Man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy <laughs> nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. Lol. He didn't okay. like me that much either. Broke up Aww. with me last Valentine's Day. That would suck! Days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't it's care anymore. Only thing that would be worse is on, like, um, Christmas or her birthday. Anyways... That's really it, I guess. Um, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're already. My name's Chris, and I'll see you guys next time when we probably talk to this, um, parasites and see what we can do about them. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.